Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing here with Hugh Bauer from Norwich City Amateur Boxing Club. I'm boxing this year at light heavyweight, 81 kilos. So we're going back to where it started. What age were you when you were? Uh, I was quite, the, quite old the gym. In, in, in the greatest scheme of things. I think I walked in at about 22, just short of 22. So I got into it quite late. Um, a question that I've been told to ask, and uh, many would want to know: What yeah. weight were you when, it, when you entered the I gym? Think I wasn't far off 100 kilos, to be fair, and that was muscle. So <laughs> it was uh, all belly, it was all paid for. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, is that something that boxing has helped you with? Oh yeah, without doubt. Yeah, I, mean, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, the cleanest to living person before before I come in here, to be fair. And I mean, weight management, eating, everything—it it got me completely, completely on the right track there. Uh, without it, I, I, I learned all my knowledge about eating, training, weight management. It was all through the sport, to be fair. It's, um, it's good to hear. Um, so, you come down to the gym. Um, was it something that, like, actually competing? Was that something that interested you, or were you here for fitness? Yeah, I mean, I, when I was a kid, um, I always, I, I've always been a fan of boxing. I've always watched it. Um, and I, I just sort of stumbled into it by chance, to be fair. Some one of my friends said, oh, you know, I'm going, going to the boxing gym this week. So I thought I'd come up with him. Um, I didn't really have any, any long-term goals in sight. I just thought I'd, I'd get into it and, and, and see how I got on. Sort of come in a bit naive, probably thinking, oh, yeah, I can have a bit of a go. And, you know, I didn't probably realise in the first session I was useless. <laughs> you know, I could barely throw a proper punch. So, yeah, no, it's, it's, I, I didn't really get into it with any long-term goals in sight, to be fair. Um, since then, obviously, you know, so I think in championships. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, it's, it's, it'll be my second, second, uh, second try at them at 81 kilos. I won them last year um, and got into the quarterfinals. Um, so I'd like to obviously better it this year and, and see where we go. Um, obviously pushing on to the quarterfinals. Yeah. Um, has that given you more hunger now to go on and? Yeah, win, I think win, it has. Win. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it gives you. Um, it, it gives you a little bit more confidence knowing that you, you got through your regionals and, and you know it's, it's, I suppose it's an achievement in a way so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it, I'd, I'd have liked to have gone on um, and I think I can better it, I think every week you're in the gym you're understanding the sport gets better um, and I think if you, it, it's, a, it's a mental game as much as it is physical, I think as your understanding develops obviously it brings your confidence up. Um, after amateurs many go on to turn professional, yep. is that the side of the sport that you'd be interested in? It's, it's, it's something, in hindsight, I'd have, I'd, I'd have loved to have done. I mean, I'm, I'm 27 now. Um, I've got three young boys. So, it, you know, it's something I would, I'd have loved to have done. In reality, it's, it's probably a bit late in the day. Um, other work commitments and stuff. But no, it's, it's, it's something, if, if I'd got into it younger, I'd, I'd have relished it, yeah. I really would have. Well, best of luck for yeah, the championships. Cheers, Thank you. And um, I'll try and meet up with you when you get back in. Yeah, bouts start continuing and then... Go on from there. Good man. Thank you. Thank you.